Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, today, uh, okay, before we go to the crash course uh, part uh, 7, okay, so I want to do some exercise on the arrays, okay. So we have just uh, learned some syntax, but we have not solved much problem. So this problem, uh, I would like to take and then uh, solve this in this video, okay. So this video is kind of a, a exercise video on top of the array session. Okay, so here is the problem. So the problem is something like, okay, we need to get a number uh, of n okay value of n and we will get n numbers so for example if we give n equal to 5 and we are going to get 5 numbers from the user okay once we get the 5 numbers uh, we need to determine uh, how many distinct numbers we have among that 5 numbers and then uh, how many times a number uh, repeated itself okay so for say for example if the n is equal to 5 and then uh, we are like giving input like 1 2 3 2 1 Okay, so we can see there are total of distinct three numbers, one, two, three. Okay, and inside uh, one occurs two times, two occurs two times, and three occurs only one time. So this is the uh, input and output for the problem. So before we start writing to, into the code, just uh, see some logic what how we are going to implement it. So once when the user is giving the input, right, it will be in a in a like a mixed form, which means it will not be in a particular sequence. So it will be like this. Okay. But from here, it is difficult to find out uh, uh, the sequence. I mean, it is difficult to find out the occurrence and then the distinct value. Okay, so for that, what we are going to do, we are going to sort that order. I mean, the values or sort the array into a particular order, either ascending or descending. Once we have that right, so since the array is already sorted, we can just uh, traverse the array from left to right, and then we can compare uh, each element with the next element. Okay, if you find that element is same, then we can say, okay, it is the same element. So we can just increment the counter to one. Okay, and when we find the element is different from the next element, then we can think, okay, so this element is going to be changed. So whatever the count it is, we'll just print that count uh, as the number of occurrence. And we'll just uh, reinitialize the count to one. And then we'll start checking the next element. So it will go like that until the end of the this thing. So now let's quickly uh, write the RPG program. So I have this my template already ready here, ex arr one So if you go inside, so first what we are going to do, we are going to uh, display enter value of n. Okay, so this is going to be the this thing. So space, uh, blank space, and then uh, we will get the value in n. Okay, and uh, let's immediately define the values here, else it will become <laughs> a confusion. So as of now, I am going to have like uh, 3s0. Okay, so three digit number. So once I have that value, right, uh, what I'm going to say for i equal to one to n. So from one to n, we are going to uh, run a loop, uh, for loop. And in each for loop, we need to get the value in array. So first let's define an array also. So I can say ARR and it's actually an array of three digit number, but just that it will be a dimension of uh, okay, maybe 20. Okay, fine. So now what we need is actually on each iteration, uh, we need to have this array of uh, i, okay, to be filled with some value, but the value is going to become uh, going to come from the user. So what I'm going to say, uh, display, okay, enter value, okay, then space, blank space, and then array. So this will give the value into the ARR of i, okay. So for each iteration, it goes on from i equal to 1 to n, so we will get the value. Fine. So after everything, I'm going to say sort a uh, arr, okay. So for, the, for this, as we learned last time, I'm going to give d e s c a n d descent. The reason why I'm not giving ascend is because uh, by default, these values will be having default value 0, okay. So for, for example, if the user is giving input as 5, then we are going to input only the 5 values into the array. So from uh, i equal to 1 to 5. Okay, so the remaining 6 to 20 will be 0. When we do this in ascending order sort, what is happening is actually the first 15 becomes 0 and then from 16, 17, 18 will become the value what we entered. Okay, so since it's ascending, right, so 0 is taking the first precedence and it's just sorting from 0. So that's why I give the descent so that it will come from... Uh, top to bottom okay anyway so now we have this value here uh, paka so this arr of array will be having the values uh, non uh, sequence order so after this sort it will become sequence 
Now what we need to do? Uh, we need to have two variables maybe count equal to 1 and uh, distinct equal to 1. Okay. Then I am going to run a loop again from i equal to 1 to uh, n minus 1. Okay. I am going to run from 1 to n minus 1. The reason because uh, we are going to compare these uh, values, right? So this and this we will compare. Okay. Uh, when we compare like that, we cannot compare 3, the last element with the other element. So that is the reason we need to stop the loop one uh, one iteration before itself. So n for so okay inside this what we are going to do? We are going to put a if statement uh, and at this portion a r r of i will be the first element. We are checking whether that is equivalent to a r r of i plus one, which is the next element. Okay, and then another piece. If this is the case, then which means both are same. Okay, then we just need to increment the count equal to count plus 1 okay suppose if it is not then which, which means we have noticed a new element right so once okay whenever we are encountering a new element what we need to do we need to first display the current value count so something like display uh, i'll open a bracket okay i'm going to say in a in a in a correct format uh, i'm going to print the format so uh, character of arr of i so this will become the current value Okay, plus uh, I'm going to say occurs okay, and then plus uh, how many times so that value will be there in the count variable. So I'm going to say character of count. So these things forms a, a string of uh, meaningful description. So uh, array of i occurs this much. Maybe I can even have something like uh, plus times. Okay, close. Okay, this looks a meaningful name. Okay, once we display the current occurrence, okay, what we need to do, we need to reinitialize the value. So, and also we need to increment the distinct to one and uh, distinct to distinct plus one and then count equal to one. Okay, why we are doing this? Because, okay, we are seeing the current element is not equal to the next element, which is the, this scenario. Okay, when one is not equal to Two, then this one is already over, so we'll print the number of occurrence for the one, and also we'll reinitialize the count for the next thing, which is for the two, okay? And then uh, we'll increment the distinct to plus one because we are seeing a new element now, okay? So that's it. So once this is done, everything is okay, and finally, okay, what will happen at the end of the for loop? Uh, we we'll get everything solved. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna give. I need to cover one more one more uh, scenario, but I'll show that in a runtime. So what we need to have, we have yen repeat. We'll have i. Okay, and then what we need to have, we need uh, two other elements. So rp two, one is count, another is distinct. Okay, hopefully this should work. File uh, fourteen f f ten. Source. Cool. So let's go strdbg exr one, and then call exr one. So first, it's asking the value. I'm going to give five. Okay. So we'll take the same example of the first this one. Okay. And then uh, f10. Okay. First value is one. Second value is two. Again one. Maybe this time I'll give three. Again two. Okay, so here you can see this array currently is having one, two, one, three, two. Okay, we filled only the first five elements. When you use sort array and also descending order, you can see three, two, two, one, one. So this is what we expect. Now uh, we are setting the count and distinct value to one. And we are going to run the loop from 1 to n minus 1. So now we are checking the first element with the second element. Obviously, it is not same. We just saw the value 3 and 2. It will come to the else condition and it will display 3 occurs only one time. And then we are incrementing the distinct count to plus 1. Okay. And re resetting the count to 1. And we are going again. Now we are checking 2 versus 2. Okay. And uh, it's same. So we are incrementing the count. It goes on. And then now the 2 and 1 is compared. So it's coming to the else condition and now it's a catch okay so the count is again increment to one because we have two ones but now the for loop exits so this what what will happen now is actually we are we always miss the last element uh, occurrence 
okay so three occurs only one time two occurs only two times so what happened to one when what happened to one means when when the one comes right so three two two one one this was our uh, our uh, sequence so when this one compares with one right it says okay it sees okay one is equal to one so it increments the counter to counter plus one but after that there is no more iteration to check so it comes out of the for loop so for this what we are going to do after we have done every we have checked everything we will just display this statement again this display test okay because this display statement should be having the last element of the i and also the count should be having the uh, last elements count so this should work so file okay so call exarr1 so this time i'm going to say uh, maybe uh, 5 i'm going to give like a 3 1 2 3 1 so you can see 3 occurs 2 times, 1 occurs 2 times, 2 occurs 1 times. So it came correctly. Let us run some other di uh, different scenario. Like I am going to give 3 element 1, 2, 3. So no uh, distinct. So we can see, uh, oh, we did not print the distinct value. We can also print that. Uh, okay, come down. Here we can print like uh, this distinct value. Okay, plus character of distinct, and the whole thing should be covered under your braces. Okay, file good. Okay, now uh, three, one, two, three. So you can see that is three distinct value, and uh, this time I'm gonna. Go four values and then give two 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 one now you can see two occurs three times one occurs one time and even we can give all values same and let's see what happens so two 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 you can see two occurs three times listing value one so this is the sample program which i want to cover okay just to understand uh, like you learned uh, uh, arrays concept clearly or not okay so maybe you can try this example by yourself and then see what how you are doing and if you have any doubts you can come back and see the video again so yeah that's it for this video and hope this helps and if you want similar kind of videos uh, you can tell me in the comment section like uh, we'll take a specific problem and then we'll do only only we'll solve that only that problem in a video uh, for better understanding okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video soon bye